Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. So I've had quite a few requests to show you what I am buying Penelope, who is three and a half years old. Well, more than three and a half years old, actually. She will be four in January. What I am buying her for Christmas. So I thought that I would film a video talking you through everything that we have bought. Now, this isn't gonna be all for her Christmas. There is, what I tend to do is because her birthday is so close to Christmas, I tend to just buy things and then I get to the wrapping stage and I'll literally just kind of divide it and put some aside for her birthday and then some aside for her Christmas. But I just thought I would show you everything that I have been collecting over the past few months and I hope that it's helpful and may provide some present ideas if you are looking for some inspiration on what to buy a free four-year-old this Christmas. So first of all, and something that I definitely wanted to recommend, I have bought her some Tonys. Now these haven't arrived yet. I only ordered them last week and I feel like delivery is quite slow on them. Um, but Tonys are for a Tony box and this would definitely be a recommendation for a present idea. We got this for Penelope's birthday earlier this year. So we got this for her third birthday and she has played with this. Um, so basically it's like a, a speaker and you get these different characters which are called Tonys and they've got like all the Disney ones. They've got lots of different like licenses um, and they sing songs and they play stories and, and it's really good because it's kind of like an alternative to screen time so I really really like that um, so we got her some for her birthday we got her a couple for her Easter and she hasn't had any new ones for a while so that was kind of top of her Christmas lift as she wanted some new Tonys so I've ordered um, the Olaf one I've ordered Merida from Brave and I've ordered a Peppa Pig one and then we've also we had a couple of family members ask what to get her for Christmas so we've given them a couple of ideas as well because I just feel like they just don't go wrong and she listens and plays with it so so much and they've currently got an offer on at the moment I don't know if the offer may still be standing when you see this but you can usually get a good offer for like a bundle for the speaker and the Tony so definitely do have a look around next up I've got these they're a bit random but I saw them on Amazon and just thought she would absolutely love these so these are National Ge Geographic Balance Stepping Stones so they're anti-slip um, and they are basically just these stepping stones um you've got like a little spinner i just thought she would absolutely love this because she loves nothing more than putting like the cushions on the floor she likes putting like my placemats on the floor and using them like a bridge or using them for like the floor is lava or using them as like stepping stones um so i just thought this would be so up her street they're really nice and brightly colored they're non-slip so i feel like they're a bit safer to use then a placemat, which is slippy. Like they were quite expensive, um, but I feel like they hopefully will be played with quite a lot and they were reduced in the Black Friday sales. So I was like, okay. So I bought this baby Rapunzel Disney princess doll when we were actually out in America. I picked this up in Target because it was an absolute bargain. Now Penelope's favorite things in life are babies and Disney princesses. So a mix of the two, I feel like she's gonna lose her mind over this. So yeah, it's basically just a baby Rapunzel doll. It comes with a bottle, it comes with like a dummy. Yeah, I feel like she is just, she's going to love this. But even though I got this in America, I have seen it on Amazon. So I will link it onto my storefront. I have picked up some new Disney princess pajamas. I think I'll probably give her these for her birthday. Um, m and had a sale on this week. I think they had like 20% off children's nightwear. So I think these are about eight pound and they're just pink and got Disney princesses on. So I just thought they were a good thing to have. She'll probably find them really, really boring to open, but as a mum, I feel like you can't go wrong with pyjamas, especially character pyjamas. Next up is something that I think I'm probably gonna be more excited about than her, but this is the Melissa and Doug wooden slice and stack sandwich counter. Now this, I'd never seen this before actually. Which way am I holding it? I think it's this way. I'd never actually seen this before, but I saw it in the Black Friday sales on Amazon. I think it was reduced something from like 49.99 to like 50 quid um, to like 23 pounds. So basically over half price. And I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. Now Penn has, let me just pop this out of the way for a minute. Last Christmas, we got her the Melissa and Doug ice cream counter. Now this is my number one toy recommendation if you have a two i'd say probably like two to three two to four year old um 
and they haven't got one of these, I definitely would recommend getting one. So yeah, we got this for Penelope last Christmas and I'm not even joking. She has played with this every single day. It's definitely her most played with toy. She absolutely loves it. And even though like all her friends have this as well, whenever one of them comes around for a play date or she goes to a play date at someone else's house, they always gravitate towards the ice cream counter. It's such a popular toy. So I really, really would recommend getting it because I feel like it is the most played with toy. So when I saw this sandwich counter, I was like, oh my God, we have to get this. Um, so yeah, and this is really cool. And I feel like it's slightly more advanced. I feel like this will be quite good for slightly older children. So I'm talking like your more preschool age, so like Penelope's age, the more almost four, maybe even five year olds, because yeah, you can make sandwiches. There's quite a few pieces, so you can mix them all together. You can make burgers. There's a little till. Um, yeah, it comes with 56 pieces. There's like cash, there's a card, there's a tray. She loves playing shops. She loves playing cafes. So I feel like she is just gonna absolutely love this so, so much. And also like just as an adult, I mean, there's even like, look at this, this is so cool. There's even a little like drink dispenser how cool is that um and then yeah even as like an adult like I love this kind of stuff I love playing these kind of games with her so I was like yes I'm gonna get her that it was an absolute bargain so I have actually got a video on my Instagram I might upload it to my shorts as well which is toddler stocking filler ideas um so yeah so I'll link link that below if you're looking for stocking filler ideas um but we did pick up a couple of stocking fillers for her in the works the other day so I picked up some Grinch stretchy slime she loves slime she loves play-doh anything squishy that kind of stuff and she really loves the Grinch at the moment we have watched the Grinch so many times um so yes yeah, so I we saw that and was like have to get it for her and then we got her this little glow-in-the-dark squishy couple of it was a couple of quid she loves a squishy literally that kid loves a squishy toy it says it's glow in the dark so yeah can't go wrong perfect perfect stocking filler next up is something that i think's again really cool um she loves playing like hairdressers and like beauty salons so i saw this and just thought it was really cool so this is a dyson play hair set again it was reduced on black friday and it comes with a hair dryer straighteners and um, then like hairbrush comb accessories and it makes real sounds so i just feel like it lights so yeah it lights up it makes real sounds i feel like she's gonna absolutely love this because like i said she loves playing hairdressers um and i just thought it was really cool so yeah i'm kind of buying it for myself as well um but yeah I just feel like she's really gonna like enjoy that and enjoy playing with it. Next up, I bought a couple of books from Waterstones. Now we don't really do like a Christmas Eve box. We don't really do Christmas Eve presents. Um, but what I, I was trying to remember if I'd maybe done this last year. I think I potentially did. Um, I saw this, they said so they had buy one, get one half price on the kids books. So they were like 7 99 So I thought that wasn't too bad. They had this bluey one, which was Bluey's Night Before Christmas. Now Penn is going through the biggest bluey phase right now, which is making me, I'm a little bit worried because I feel like I haven't really got a much bluey stuff, but oh well. Anyways, I saw this and just thought this would be a really lovely book to read Christmas Eve. And I just thought maybe what might be quite a nice tradition to start um is having a new Christmassy themed book to read that we give to her on Christmas Eve and then we read that at bedtime and I thought considering we're in our bluey phase right now I thought she'd love that and then the other book that I got as part of the offer she got so excited when she saw it now this book is probably going to be I reckon it's probably going to be a little bit too young for her but I did buy it for her because I just saw how excited she was and that is a Miss Rachel book Miss Rachel and the special surprise she loves Miss Rachel she loved Miss Rachel when she was a lot lot younger and I definitely feel like Miss Rachel helped so much with her speech and she still loves watching Miss Rachel now um but yeah, so when she saw this, she was like, oh my God, mummy, a Miss Rachel book. Um, so yeah, so my, my mum and sister were with me. So I got them to distract and I went off to pay for it because I just thought, oh, I have to get it for her. We love Miss Rachel. Big fan of Miss Rachel in this house. Next up, I've bought her a couple of new, well, they're not new, they're from Vinted, uh, dressing up dresses. I'm a little bit nervous about this one because it looks really small, but she asked, she really wanted the Elsa dress from Olaf's Frozen Adventure. 
Um, so yeah, the Elsa Christmas dress. So yes, yeah, so I picked this up on Vinted, but yeah, it's arrived and I'm a, I'm a bit nervous. It's gonna, I feel like it looks really small on like the arms. So I'm, I'm really, I'm hoping it's gonna fit, um, but I guess we will see. So I think I'm gonna give her this one for Christmas. And then I also picked up on Vinted the Arna costume and it comes with like the cape as well from Frozen 2. So this was also really, really cheap and really, really good condition. I think I'm gonna give her this one for her birthday. So yeah, I think I'll do the Christmas one, the Elsa Christmas one for her Christmas and Anna for her birthday. Next up, I literally bought this back in the summer, you know, when the July Amazon Prime Day sale was on. Um, so yeah, so I picked this back up in the summer for her and this is a Play-Doh hair salon kit because I was like, she is going to absolutely love this. She loves Play-Doh. I always try to get her um, fresh Play-Doh or a new Play-Doh kit every kind of Christmas and birthday because yeah, she just loves her Play-Doh so, so much. And I always feel like that's a really good present idea. I feel like if you're looking for an, a present idea for like a toddler um, and you don't want to spend a huge amount of money, get them a Play-Doh kit, get them some fresh Play-Doh. It always will get really well used and I feel like it's always appreciated. So yeah, so she has got a few hairdressing kits, but they're quite small. So when I saw this one, the fact that it's a bit bigger, I thought she would absolutely love this. Oh, we've got another book. So I picked this up from Sainsbury's. I think it was like £3.50. Penelope, much to my absolute delight, has really gotten into Taylor Swift this year. She's a big Swifty, which makes me, like, literally made all my life dreams come true. Um, so we haven't got any of these little people big dream books. Hey, Frank. Um, but I feel like these are such lovely books, and I picked her up the Taylor Swift one. Just thought she would absolutely love reading about Taylor. Picked up, uh, again, I think I got this in the Prime Day sales, a new Gabby Dollhouse Crayola Colour Wonder kit. Um, these are just so handy to have. I absolutely love them because they are just like mess free. Um, and I love that they do like, there's different ones you can get now. So I hadn't seen the Gabby one before. She loves Gabby, loves Gabby's dollhouse. Um, so I had to get her this and I feel like it's just a good thing to kind of gift for birthdays and Christmases. I also think this is also a really good gift for like buying like their pals. It's pretty inexpensive, but it's one of those things that you know they'll use and enjoy. Again, another bit of a random present, but I picked up, again, I think this is in the Sainsbury's toy sale like ages ago, this Barbie Little People Fisher Price kit. So she really was into the Barbie film earlier this year. I feel like she's still a little bit too young for like Barbie dolls. Like she's got a couple of like princess dolls that are like Barbies, but she just doesn't really play with them that much. And she doesn't really like play for them for very long. So I think we're not quite at the Barbie phase, but she has quite a lot of the Fisher Price Little People stuff. So she's got a Fisher Price Little People doll's house. She's got the Frozen Castle. Um, she's got the sleigh, so she's got a few bits and bobs. So when I saw these, I just thought these were really cool. So it's different Barbies in different occupations. We've got a pilot, we've got a vet, we've got an astronaut, we've got a doctor, a ballerina, a footballer, a chef. Um, so I just thought these were so cool. And I just thought she would probably really enjoy playing with these in her doll's house and in the frozen castle. So yeah, so she loves Gabby's doll's house and she has asked, the only thing she's asked for, this and her Tonys is the only thing she can think of when she wants to talk about presents. She's asked for a Gabby phone. I think we'd seen this online and she just won't stop going on about wanting a Gabby phone. So that is what I've got her. Um, it's by VTech. I got it off Amazon. Try me, it's a, oh, cool. Oh, she's, oh, she's gonna love this. So. So there's games. It says that you can play stuff chat with Gabby and Pandy Paws, um, basic math skills. So yeah, I feel like she, oh, I feel like I, let's turn it off, bye. Um, yeah, I feel like she's gonna absolutely love this. I'll definitely be giving her this for Christmas considering this is the one thing that she's really asked for and says that she wants. I think the final thing that I've got to show you, and this is a little bit random, we actually bought this about 18 months ago and we intended to give this to her either last Christmas or her last birthday. And then we'd put it up in the loft for safekeeping and then completely forgot that it was in the loft. And then we were like, oh, we've got that Mickey kit in the loft. And I was like, meh, we'll give it to her next Christmas or birthday. So this is a Mickey Handy Helper tool bucket, 29 pieces. You've got a hard hat, you've got like pretend screws, you've got pliers. 
Um, yeah, I feel like she's going to absolutely love this because she loves like and she really wants to help like Henry do stuff. So back in the summer, he was fixing his lawnmower. She was like helping him. She loves stuff like that. But obviously it's quite dangerous for a toddler to be helping with like DIY. So yeah, we just saw this and thought this was really cool. She loves Mickey Mouse. She loves helping out. And even though we bought this like 18 months ago, I feel like this is actually probably a better age now for her to have it because she's going to be able to use it and understand it a lot, lot more. That is literally everything. Like I said, I'm going to be dividing these into like birthday and Christmas presents. Um... And yeah, I don't, th I think to be honest, I'm pretty content with everything that I've got. Like I said, I've ordered her, her Tonys, they'll be coming soon. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much, I think I'm there. I think I'm done with all the shopping for her. I will link everything like on my Amazon storefront, which probably will is like where I bought most of this stuff from and you can get most of these things from. Um, so I'll link that down below try and find them for you. If I find any other links at all, I'll let you know. Um, but I hope this has maybe given you some inspiration if you are looking for some inspo this Christmas. Let me know what you are buying your little ones this Christmas. I would absolutely love to know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.